has an antecedent as military head of state, Nigerians recall that he instituted the war against indiscipline by which the culture of queuing in public places or you know, challenges of corruption were tackled. We are in a different environment now. This is a civilian democratic system of government. Nobody would be forced. The government would be using persuasion, the rule of law, to ensure the right public conduct by citizens. Now, realistically, how much of the monies that's been lost to corruption can be retrieved? Assets recovery overseas is a very tedious, a very painstaking process. If I will give a personal opinion, if this country is able to recover half of what is stolen, that money can change so many things for this country. We hope everything will be recovered, but it's a very painstaking, it's a tedious process. It's talking to just everyone. More importantly for us, the political leaders of major countries, European, United States, China, a number of countries in Asia are cooperating with the Nigerian government. A moratorium is being placed on quite a number of bank accounts suspected to be dealing with stolen Nigerian assets. And it is now upon us, and the president is working very hard on this, to produce evidence that what is lodged in those banks is proceeds of corruption. Now, any plans for tougher legislations and uh, any plans as well for uh, the rewards for whistleblowing? Before the 7th National Assembly recessed, there were quite a number of laws that were rushed. And uh, we are able to at identify at least five of those uh, bills that are currently being studied by a committee in the president's office with a view to certifying them for his signature. And uh, I believe that some of these things will reinforce, including the uh, Whistleblower Act. Now, what about plans to secure the public buy-in? Well, this whole thing cannot succeed without the public supporting what we are doing. And as you can see yourself, Nigerians are holy for this. The approval rating is, is enormous. We have not seen anything like this before. You have seen yourself, groups, the labor unions and all of that, in public demonstrations of support at one or two occasions when some attempts were made to derail this ongoing exercise, the war against corruption. Nigerians rose in unison and said, no, we will not allow anyone, no matter who they are, to derail the war against corruption.